Hi folks, um, it's me again. My name is Daniel Rojas, I'm from Colombia. I want to explain better how to create dev maps for theme photos. As you all, all know, uh, Facebook allows you to create this kind of cool effects of 3D photos and you can create your own custom dev maps. And that is good. what we are going to learn about in this tutorial. It's like part two for the other tutorial that I made. I hope I can help you and if you have questions please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to us so you can learn more, more cool things. Okay? So let's start. So I use this little planet because I am a professional 360 photographer. I love little planets. I think they are the most cool things that we can create. And this photo was taken with Ben Thurber at Osaka. Uh, I wanted just that this huge like egg showed up as you can see here. Okay, for this you just need to understand how a death map is created. So let's start. So first, my image, I use the wand, the wand is here, my magic wand, and I select, I selected the sky, yes, I created a new layer so that my image won't get uh, destructive, destructed. I selected my gradient tool, oops, I selected the diamond gradient for the sky. Sorry. Okay. And I did this. This created this diamond. But I need I want it to be like further out because I want the white part to be almost in the border of my image. So maybe my my city is like shown in a different way okay so that's the image that i created here that is almost the same then i am i wanted to to grab the inner part so i just did a, another mask for it so i grabbed the inner part and i put a different color this color is lighter than the background, right? You can see here the, the difference of tonality. And this brings different depths. The lighter is going to show uh, stretch out more than the darker. Yes, I did, um, I did an example here with this in and out image. The white is going to be really stretched out and the darker gray is going to be not so stretched out and the more black is going to go inversed. It's going to be stretched in. So I think this is important for you to understand how to build your death map. Okay, so let's go back to it. Uh, then I understood that I wanted to create that this bubble showed more than, than the other uh, parts of the image. So that's why I selected it all white, because I wanted really to, to stretch out a bit more. Then I understood that it's better to use the gradient tool. So it's not all stretched out, but what I what I need to be stretched out because if you see the image, let me show you. I'll go here. Put it here. You can see that there is a depth of the image. This is outer, but there is something inside. So that's why I created with this gradient. 
Then I I wanted to distinguish this part because it's, it's like a a, low, a lower part from the the main subject that I want like to to show more. So that's why I I did another layer. Then I go to zoom, zoom in. I wanted to show how in a different layer in a different layer this line was in front of us. So that's why I created this little line. I just use a polygonal lasso like we all know how to use it to create a mask for example obviously if you are better photoshop than me you are going to create better things but if you are not this is a really simple way to do it so the gradient and then you just if you want you apply this gradient or if you understand how the volume is in your picture, you want that everything maybe is in, a, in the same tone. So uh, you can paint. Wait, no. you can paint the feeling with the same constant color. Yes. So I just went adding this, then I added the, the mask for each person. I wanted really to notice the, the fingers of Ben Clermont. It's a really cool thing that he does in every photo. He reminds me of good friends. And that makes a really cool effect in the final photo you can see the fingers of him are I like going further out than him because in the gradient death map you can see that is lighter than him so I wanted that to happen and my feet, my legs are also a little bit lighter than my my body so that, that is what I wanted to do and when you finish doing your, your gradients what you have to do is go to layer flatten image yes, it's called human layers then you will add a filter that is the Gaussian blur. I think it's good to apply to pixels as a radius, but you can add whatever amount of pixels you like, depends on what you are making. You OK. Then you save as a normal image as a JPEG image. Let's call this little Ben six. So I don't replace my other death maps. I just save it. And as I showed you in this amazing uh, omnivert free to use non commercial page, you just Upload your image, use your own file as death map because you could also use a predict let the, the page to predict the death map, yes. But sometimes it's not going to be the best because you want other things to show more and the page may not respond as you want it to. So let's see what happens. Nothing happens. Ah, look. 
now it has strange things. It has a cruel death, but it's not what I want. I'm going to download it to check it out later. So now I want to use my own file that I called Windows 6. I open and they will process the test map that I created. And you see, this is what I wanted to achieve. And that's if that if I'm happy with it, I'm going to accept the policy, generate the three photo. And these are some. Ah, we have changed a bit. These ways. Now I can download this image and. We're going to see that I'm going to out. I'm going to pass it. My downloads. The image I just download it and to put it in my folder. I don't get get okay. So I share it with my iPhone. And it's not a death map, I just download it, but it's okay just to show you how. Is done, but you have to create each time that you want to try how you will see in Facebook. In Facebook because it's not the same uh, 3D depth that Omnivert calculates than Facebook. So I'm just going to share it through AirDrop to not uh, lose any information. So uh, this is what I have. Now I'm going to open Facebook and I'm going to post my 3D photo. And I'm going to select the image I just shared to it. And I'm going to see the effect. The same effect that I used obviously on strange exaggerated text, but if that's what I like, I give next and I give a title and post. Okay, so that's the the whole tutorial. I hope you like it. Uh, be sure to follow us. We are Three Go Video, a company passionate for 360 photography, video, and 3D stuff. We love everything that has technology in it, and whatever you need, we will be really interested in sharing and showing you. This is my team, Camilo, Ines, Fernando, and me. Okay? So, take care. Good night.